Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about process. If you want to change, if you really want to change on a fundamental level, what you do is you focus on the process and not so much progress. Narrow, narrow, narrow. So it's a self-help adage that I think is mostly true. You'll hear Stoke guys say it all the time, and that is focus on your progress, not so much your perfection. And what this means is, look, if you want to make a change or improve in your life in some way, you don't look at some projected ideal that you think you need in order to be happy. You look at whatever progress you've made up until that point, and you know that tends to make you feel better, I guess. So if you want to make a certain amount of money, let's say X amount of money, it's maybe it's not so help, uh, healthy to focus on that and more focus on you. You can get bummed out on that, especially if you start comparing yourself to other guys and say, "Well, he has that, I don't have that much," and that's a whole other thing comes into comparing yourself with others, which is a boundary issue. You know, that's not going to stop. I don't care how many books you read to tell you to stop comparing yourself to others. It's not going to happen until you uh, build a boundary, until you really begin to regulate the dysregulated emotions, until you begin to make unconscious emotions conscious, f through which that process that naturally builds a boundary and then not comparing yourself to somebody will be as natural as comparing yourself with somebody now. But that's a different topic. So let's say you want to make X amount of dollars. Maybe it's better to not focus on whatever ideal you want and rather focus on progress that you've made. So, man, I'm only making $200. Yeah, but last month I was making $100. So, wow, that's a 100% increase in just a month. That's that's a lot. Sure, I want to be making $10,000, but wow, look at this progress I made. And I think this can be a helpful, it's some, you know, something helpful to remind you of, especially if you're not feeling that great, I guess. It can maybe help a little bit. But I think what's really important to do rather than focus on progress is to focus on you know what i have here the process of change over any kind of progress and over any kind of ideal that you think you want and what do i mean by this well let's take um working out as an example it's always examples we, we go to here analogy let's say you haven't worked out in a while you go to the gym and you start working out i mean you may not see any progress right for a while I mean, you know, you can maybe see it on the scale, especially if you haven't been to the gym in a long time, you're really overweight or you're really weak, you can get stronger pretty quickly. You can lose maybe five pounds a week, so you'll see it there on the scale, but it, um, but, but it, you, know, you can't really see it in, in the mirror, you don't feel any different. So it's better in that situation not to focus so much on progress because it takes a while. What's better to do is to focus on the process, focus on fundamental principles of fitness, of getting stronger, of eating healthier. And I know we can disagree all day about the specifics, but you know, that's a good sign that you've lost sight of the fundamentals is when you're bickering about the uh, specifics and, and what peptide supplement to take, you know, whatever. We, we all generally know, I don't even have to mention examples. We all generally know what it means to eat healthy. Maybe not eat ho-hos every day. You know, uh, every once in a while, perhaps, you know, 80-20 principle, you stick to your diet 80%. Maybe not eat hoes every day. Maybe do some kind of resistance training. You focus on principles like that, and the progress is going to happen. And you don't have to have faith. You don't have to have any kind of belief in yourself. It doesn't matter. You don't have to believe in yourself anymore when you're focused on the process because you know, like you know, like you know, that it's going to work out for you because you understand the principles of, of fitness. So... How does this apply to therapy and to psychology or any kind of psychological change? Well, why do we go? Why, why do we uh, come to therapy? Because there's some challenge that we can't manage, right? Well, our life seems to be going along as as well. Oh, everything seemed great, but then this challenge came in. The stressor came in. Uh, usually, it's with girls, guys. Um, you know, difficulty with girls or not being able to to get a girlfriend, let's say, and. I'll just put that challenge here. Uh, got the whiteboard out again. Had to go in and it was in the garage. I had to dust off a little bit. So let's say, say there's a challenge here. So what do we do? Think of this. So this is stair steps. Think of this as a bin. And we're going to be putting water in this bin. It may not make sense right now, but it will. Trust me. So we're going to uh, put water in this bin. But we reach a challenge at a certain step huh, or stage in our life and so what do we do we pour our water on it i will indicate that with arrows we pour water on this challenge 
but we just feel like we're beating our head against the wall, like we're stagnant, like maybe we start dating more women, but we don't really have the woman that we want in our life, for example, because what does the water do if you just pour it on the step? Well, it, it not only does it trickle down the steps to the bottom, let's say there's a slight uh, uh, slope here to the steps, but the water comes out um, the bottom, which I will indicate with very well drawn water droplets. Sorry if my uh, artistry is offensive to you, my, my exceedingly talented artistry. So that's what happens, right? That the water, we pour it on the challenge, we beat our head against the wall, we're stagnant, we're not really making any change in our life, we're really not doing what we need to do, what we maybe know deep down that we needed to do because we're just focusing on the challenge and we're not focusing on the steps that led to the challenge becoming a challenge in the first place. And this is what we talk about here with uh, adult stages of development. So there are certain steps that you need to put in place in order to manage a challenge in your life typically, otherwise you would manage it naturally. And so these steps are, for example, uh, I would uh, make a dotted line here. So we have separation from parents. That's generally a first one. I'll put one here. So we have friends. Can you separate? I don't mean disconnect, but can you separate from friends in a healthy way? Can you create healthy boundaries with friends? So um, let's say you're hanging out with friends. Can you hang out with them without either being a bully or getting bullied yourself? Without you know pushing through somebody, um, without being domineering, nor are you a milk toast in any sense. Can you create healthy relationships with people of the same sex, different sex if you're gay? And then, the, so next would maybe be something like work. And you know, this doesn't have to be exactly in this order, but work. Okay, can you, uh, did you have uh, something that you're working on that contributes to not only to your life, but the lives of others? Um, do you at least, if you aren't there yet, do you at least have an interest that you can kind of pour your libidinal energy in? Um, have you cleared up your issues around parents, friends, and work? You know, any kind of resentments that you have about money or status or how somebody raised you and, and you never chose them to raise you, yet they raised you anyways and can have profound impacts on your life. Have you come to terms with all those issues, all those regrets and resentments and anxieties? Well, then you manage those issues, right? You pour enough uh, libidinal energy onto these issues in the right way, we'll get to it. Then the girl thing, though that will simply take care of itself, right? Because now you have the right depth, right? The, the depth to manage that challenge. And however difficult it may be to get a girl for now, you manage this stuff and it will be that difficult to not to get a girlfriend. This will happen naturally. You will have to try to make it not happen. And of course, right? Because you know, yeah, we're, we're sexual beings. And once we clear up all our issues around sexuality, around who we are, then, you know, the girlfriend thing happens naturally. I don't mean any girlfriend, right? I mean, that's that's usually not the problem. It's You could probably get a girlfriend, but it's, is it a girlfriend who you really want? Um, yeah, if, if you're not attracted to her physically, uh, psychologically, sexually, uh, spiritually, well... It, Whatever, I mean, you can probably go get some whatever random girlfriend, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the kind of girl when she walks in and you go, okay, I want, that's what I want. You know, she's not necessarily the prettiest girl. I don't know what pretty is anyway. I mean, after a certain level, it's all makeup. Girl walks in, you go, okay, I need something like that, right? You manage this stuff and the girl issue will take care of itself. That's why I think it's way more important to focus on process over progress. And man, just to make more sense out of this, um, you know, this is what we do naturally to go back to working out. This is what we do naturally with working out. I mean, let's say uh, squats, right? Okay, so we have a 100 pound squat, 150 pound squat, 200, and this is 250. So uh, let's say you can't even squat 150 pounds. You know, you just got back into working out after a long time. <laughs> My dog just stared at me. It's, it's a little bit distracting. You, you, you haven't worked out in a long time. Uh, so you can only squat 150 pounds. Like that's your max. If you go in and try to squat, squat 250 pounds, um, it's not going to work. And when it doesn't work, you're not going to take it personally because you're going to understand. Oh, I have to train my neurology. I have to train 
uh, my neuromuscular uh, system, my skeletal system to manage a certain amount of weight and something I take personally, I just haven't uh, added the progressive um, periodization or you know, progressive overload. I, I haven't integrated that principle. I haven't focused on that process of progressive. I know it's called progressive overload, but it's a process. So yeah, I'm not gonna squat 350 pounds and I'm not gonna take it personally. Oh, I went out with that really great girl and she had all these things going and you know she's <laughs> cook I'm she's clearly better than I am. Well, I'm not gonna take it personally because I'm not there yet and it's okay that I'm not there. This is why process over pro progress is so important, at least in part. It's okay that I'm not there. I am now part of a process. And if I just stick to this process, if I stick to the process of managing my emotions in a certain way, as we do here, we'll get to it, or stick to the pro pro uh, process of progressive overload, then this challenge here will, we will meet this challenge head on. And not only will, will we meet it head on, but it's going to be effectively effortless and natural. It's just gonna happen. So this is what we do with working out all the time. So why don't we do this, I guess, is the, the question. Why don't we do this in therapy? Uh, well, I kind of pinned it at there. I mean, there's no principles to therapy. There's no principles to psychology. So you go to most therapists or psychologists and, you know, you're going to focus on your affirmations or changing your thought. You know, spoiler, that, that is not a fundamental principle of therapy. It, you know, it's what we want a fundamental principle of therapy to be because um, it, you know, boy, wouldn't that be nice? All I have to do is uh, make a certain information or change a thought, and then, <laughs> then I will uh, change in the way I want. Um, it's it's not more difficult than that, but it's more fundamental than that. Maybe that's a euphemism for difficult. I don't think it is. It's definitely more simple than that. Um, so. You know, that's what we do here, right? So I wrote this book, Man's Guide to Psychology. It delineates the fundamental principles of psychology. Now I apply those principles to therapy. Um, and what this looks like, in a sense, is you just got to be aware of your fundamental emotional issue. You got to be aware of that. And you got to be aware of how it looks, how your life begins to look, how you begin to feel, how your life begins to look when you don't manage that fundamental emotional issue. So it's like those, those two things. You gotta be aware when the issue comes up and you gotta be aware of how that issue manifests. Now we focus on those two things first around parental issues, then it's around issues with friends and work and I mean, it's really sexuality. Sex initiation comes in before girl, emotional, girlfriend initiation, but it doesn't matter. We focus on your fundamental, and it's the same, it's gonna be the same issue. It's gonna be the same issue at each step um, now we're gonna articulate it in a different way, right? There, there's a bunch of words for it. Um, you know, shine as many rays of light on the problem as we possibly can, bring as much light to it. Articulate it in a bunch of different ways, use a bunch of different words, but it all means the same thing, right? Like Eskimos and snow, it's this thing that's all around them and it's really important because of that. And I want your problem to be this thing that's all around you, not in a bad way, but you know, we just gotta step into it for a certain amount of time, which is okay to do, it's okay to do once you understand exactly what the problem is. You get crystal clear about the problem and you get crystal clear of how your life begins to look, how you begin to feel when you are not managing the problem in a healthy way. Then, you know, you mess up here with some challenge, uh, some girl challenge, and it's like, well, whatever. You know, I just got to focus on this process here, talking through my emotions in a certain way. Um, understanding there are stages to my development. There's stages of my psychological development of how much stress and how much strain my my um, my neurological system, in a sense, can handle. There's a process of doing that, and then whatever this challenge out here is for you that, that you feel like you're beating your head against the wall with, uh, yeah, it'll take care of itself. So we do free consultations. Um, animusempire.com slash schedule and if you have a question animus at animusempire.com I, I was thinking did I forget to say something I probably did whatever but that'll be uh, good for now if you have any questions put them below in the comments and remember that um, you know when you really want to change it's it makes sense to focus on progress but on a more fundamental level I think it's it's uh, once you understand the principles of what you're doing you got to focus on the process which leads to the progress and ultimately leads to whatever perfection is for you.